Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex and round two. Um, I can't wait. I'm going to rewatch the video I just did of my haul because I know my mouth was going 400 miles an hour. But anyway, um, I'm not going to redo it and some of you will get a kick out of it. Um, I am working on these, my favorite, my favorite animal pieces, which are these watercolor prints. Absolutely love them. What I'm doing is, um, four, five, two foot pieces, which is an 18 inch piece of the, him. And he's a, he's a, I think he's, he's a 15 footer. Okay. People are really lucky right now because I ran out of bases. So everybody's been getting a box base at no additional charge, which normally those are more expensive because of, of the boxes. Um, but because I didn't have any other bases, I, the boxes I'm just doing. Anyway, he's going to sit on a four by four by four inch box that I have covered in glitter. The colors are pink and gold, and I'm going to be adding the flowers to the crowns of these. Um, they're all done and ready to go. I just showed you my bucket of flowers that I got, and I've got them all in a great big basket that sit on top of the dresser perfectly in my room. So I'm going to see here which flower I feel like I could fit in here perfect. I have now too many to pick from. Let me see. I kind of like this one. I know that's a little bit more pink. I put these these crowns on these these images. They did not come like that. And here is some greenery that I cut up by itself that I'm going to use on there. And I'm only going to put one flower on and I need to get my wire cutter. Sorry about that. You guys, in the last thing when I told the story in the hall about me putting the cream cheese on my peg, my my um, dowel rod that was my peg, one of these that was sitting by my breadsticks I was eating, I, I was telling my husband about it, but it got funnier because I told you guys that in the in my haul video, and then I did it again, and um, you guys. I just, I swear I have too much on my plate. But I'm going to use some of this greenery. I really like these. They almost feel like they're felt. And and these came off of these flowers that I got at Michael's. Um, I buy all of my greenery, or all of my flowers like this at Michael's. And this was $5. It's already been <laughs> used a ton. Uh and again, that would have been at 50% off. Could have been more. That could have been a clearance. I don't know. They feel like those flowers are going to jump out at me and bite me. There's a lot of them in, in here. Okay. I'm going to put the greenery on first. And, yep. No, I went to all that work to glitter that. Why did I do that? Because I didn't know I was going to add. Probably didn't know how I was going to do it at the time. And I'm going to stick these down a little bit and leave one kind of up. And my dog is trying to call me, and I hope it doesn't inter interrupt my call. I will pause it and get right back to you because my daughter's calling. So I'll be back in a minute. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm back again. Uh, just bent over to pick something up that I dropped and this long um, <laughs> glue stick is sticky here. Sent, stuck that in my eye. Oh my God, if I was being filmed in my office uh, between, if you could, well, anyway, it'd be a, a comedy show. I had all this stuff on the floor and I kept tripping on it, banging on it, bashing my toes. And oh, I went ahead and did um, some of those that I was working on. I don't know when my film actually cut out. I heard it go off, but I don't know how in much into the film I was. So, if I was telling a good story and you didn't get the ending and you care to get the ending, leave me a note and I'll try and remember what story it was. I have no idea when that went off. But, I am just absolutely burnt out. I've got to um, oh, mess up one of the things that I was, I was working on my heavenly signs. My, I had to recharge my phone. Um, that's how much I'm on it and not talking. I just do everything on my phone. 
just fixing this little heavenly sign that I didn't add a glitter to it and then stuck my finger in it. That is pretty much a norm for me. Oh, okay, so I'm picking out the flowers that I am going to use on this one. The flowers aren't going to exactly match um, and really didn't even need to be printed on there if I was just going to glitter them. Kind of silly to put them on there just to glitter over them. And the end thing is the great big huge flowers. So that's what I'm going with. And I wish I would have been able to do the other ones had I not spaced out. Or not my camera, spaced out. I am now. I, I'm, I'm burning the midnight oil. I found out that I don't have my tiniest granddaughter tomorrow. So I told my, didn't tell my husband. I asked my husband to be in charge of um, our wild thing, Mila, um, so that I could work. Because there's no, <laughs> there's no way at the rate I'm going that I'm going to get done what I need to tonight. Uh, I don't know, it really, uh, I think it's part of getting older that I <laughs> get worn out a whole lot quicker. I'm taking the leaves from this one off, off the stem and they have a little plastic thing here on the end of the, where the wire goes in. And I'm taking that off and then these leaves all stay together. I want some smaller flowers. So I've got anything here that I might use. Probably not. This is really bright. So, could I go with another color? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, let me think. Let me see. Now I bought, bought so many flowers, I don't know which ones I want to mix and match. You know what? I can use that one and that one on the other side. If I want two flowers, but I don't think I want to do a great big flower like that. I want a little one. So guys, I'm going to go back to my mess of flowers here that I had so nicely put away when I filmed and now I have to rip them all out because there's too many of them. <laughs> and I've got to get, oh, those are orange and purple. I don't want pink. So, I'm going to keep trying. And I said I bought a lot of pink ones because I need them, but I can't find one. Here's pink. Here we go. Here we go. Found it. Oh. <sighs> There wasn't the sign that I glittered. I just threw all the flowers on top of it. I think I'm going to have to take a break after this. Okay. I'm going to... Now, if I want to cut it off a little bit shorter so it doesn't um, take uh, the act of muscle man to keep it in place, I put a lot of hot glue on it. And the hot glue will go up there where I cut the end off so that the petals don't fall off. But I have to hold it while it, you probably can't see. I'm going to have to quit and take a break and pick up my office because I cannot work in this mess. This much stuff sitting around. I, I, I can't do it. My husband and I were talking about it today. Because in his workshop, even with his work, woodworking, when he's working on something and there's a lot of sawdust, um, he has a vacuum running all the time and he has a filter system and, and he has everything needed um, to get rid of all of that. But he's like, we're just like that. We can't go and leave things undone. When we're done, even if I'm going to start working on it in the morning, it has to be picked up before I can call it a day. And... I don't want to quit working, but I also don't want to, at midnight, call it a day and have to pick up my office. So what I think I'm going to do is pick it up and get in line what it is that I still have to do for tomorrow and then work on it without having everything I own out here. A lot of stuff sitting out here. I just drag it and drop it. I've been really having a lot of trouble um, uplift, uploading my videos. I don't know what's going on. And I, I do them on my phone, and it's not going on the cloud anymore. And I went to, well, I didn't go to the AT&T 
for me, I had to go something to meet my daughter. Well, the family plan, I had to go and sign her on as authorized. And so while I was in the at and shop, I started to ask the guy, not thinking, he's not with Apple, so he wouldn't know. Started talking about the cloud because when I'm filming this now, it doesn't go to my, my iMac and it's supposed to. And I can't do that. That's one of the reasons I haven't been doing the videos is I can't get them to my iMac and I can't do them um, off my phone. I don't do anything like that. And, and even if there's an app and I can do it, not happening. I'm not doing that off my phone. It's way too little. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, you said that so far. Oh, I like that. So uh, I, I'm going to have to research when I have a free moment, which might come up in like 19... 20, at least 20, we're in 2021. 20, I'm estimating I will have the time in 2030. Then I'll figure out how to use it. Because I don't foresee a break up until then. I tell my kids, number one, tell my kids stop having babies. Good Lord. I'm telling you, a bunch of rabbits I'm raising. I can't believe it. And it, it, it for the past 12 years, there's been a baby every year. And some of the years, quite a few of the years, there's been two. Because, um, yeah, my daughters both had their second and third the same year. And my daughter-in-laws had number one and number three at the same year. Now I have my daughter pregnant, so I'm thinking... My daughter-in-law and my son, they're going to go for number two in by fall. So, I seriously could have two more new ones and it was in a year period. And is it busy? Especially since I take care of the babies. If they're not in school, they're with me. And thank God that they, well, so far it's been going good. My littlest one now is, is absolutely a perfect child. Perfect sleeper, everything. Um, which is awesome. So it makes it real easy. She's my little honey bun. I shouldn't say she. They're all my little honey buns. Grandkids, you know. What's this saying? If I'd known that was this good, I would have done it earlier. I would have done it first. Would have had grandkids first. That closed my mouth. Guys, where did I put my mints the last time? Probably under all these flowers. Mints, mints, where's my mints? Oh. I'm going to just finish him up then and call it quits on this one. I'll, I got those blocks, the glass blocks I got for staging and setting up my to take pictures um i put a string of lights inside one of them there's lights everywhere around it my husband i got a uh it's a it's a curved top window a real old an old window that i got and my husband built a shelf on the bottom to hang on the wall or whatever i have sitting on the floor and i have lights all around it and trees behind it with lights on them and that's where i take all my pictures well, when I got the blast there, I can set my stuff at different levels, which makes it so much easier to do my photos. And um, I don't know where I was going with that, but it looks really cool. That might have been where I was going. I don't know. <laughs> because it, and now I'm going to blame it. Like my, my son, whenever his kids are being ornery, he always says, oh, they must be tired. Oh, you know, are they getting enough sleep or something? Well, they're ornery because they're ornery. You know, uh, he always has a reason. Nobody's asking for a reason for kids. And they are not necessarily ornery because my son's two little ones, the little girl, is the orneriest child I have ever seen. I love her to the moon and back. And she is, I have her on Fridays. And she's just adorable. And she's a cakewalk to care for because she's so good. But ornery as the day is long. She walks in. Every day when she walks in, I, she she acts like she's never seen me before. 
the other day when she came over, I introduced myself. I said, oh, you look like you haven't seen me before. And I'd like to introduce myself. And my son sitting in the background, who happens to be my, the father of this little one's brother. And he was shaking his head, don't, 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 don't. Because he might be sensitive to that. And it might have hurt, he hurt mommy's feelings. But man, kid is ornery. You have to have her make sure she's had rabies shot. She really is ornery. And especially when mommy and dad are around, when they go, she usually calms down. But Mila, my two-year-old granddaughter, antagonizes her, picks on her. She knows she gets mad, and so the more she does it, the more the matter Beta gets, the more Mila does it. She's just such a little sinker. But it's pretty funny. The things that kids do, it is pretty funny. But uh, she'll just eggs her on. And... Beta is three and Mila is two, just turned two in January and just turned three in March, April, March, April, April, April 7th. And the little one picks at her, picks at her because she knows she gets mad. In this age, two and three. Um, ownership is ownership is whoever's touching owns it and so if one touches something when they come in in the morning and put it down the other one goes for it either one of them will go after them they had it first even though they put it down I don't get involved I let them figure it out it's not like they're gonna hurt each other but but when they do that I don't get involved saying hey, so-and-so had it first or whatever I want them to figure it out survival of the fittest or what is it for survival is the strongest no I can rule it <laughs> oh my mouth is dry as the Sahara Desert oh my god my my lips my teeth are sticking to my lips my gums oh I gotta find a mint where did they go I smell me out I gotta find a mint I'm not gonna be able to, well, this is gonna have to be the end of the film because I can't do it. I can't find a mint. And my mouth is so dry. So guys, I'm sorry, but I'll take some really good pictures so that I can gain your confidence that I'm always not this crazy. Well, that I'll come up with something else because I'm always this bad. So I don't even know if that was filming. Have a great week. Be safe, and I hope this is filming. So it looks funky to me, but see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm back. I don't know if I'm taking a picture or filming. I will soon find out. Um, I ended up, it was my daughter calling, so I was, since I was working, I finished the one side where I did get the flower put on her. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to show you what I did here. I have this silk. That I absolutely love. And I'm going to cut off three. Oh, I am forever rolling around my room retrieving stuff. Okay. I hate that my chair doesn't travel with me anymore. I'm going to cut three of these off. And these do not come off. And in, well, maybe it looks like when I look in there, it does. But I think all of them are too big that I wouldn't use any of them with that many. Unless it was on two foot, I don't know. But anyway, doesn't matter. I got three here. And what I'm going to do is glue the three down here at the bottom. And some of my haul that I did today, I'm going to be using probably quite a bit. So wasn't a wasted trip. It was an expensive trip, but it was not wasted. Okay, I've got those three on there, but I don't like the way that looks um, unfinished, just stuck on there. So what I did is I told you about this moss that I bought, um, and moss is everywhere. So I am going to use moss, and I'm going to pick out a piece that looks about the right size. 
They're like, they feel like sponge. I'm not going to be doing that on every one. Every one's going to be different. That's, that's the fun of it all. And I'm going to glue that on top of where these three pieces of tall grass. Our little, di our little <laughs> dinosaur. Oh, <coughs> uh, giraffe. Wow. Um, is resting under the tall grass. The reason I said with the, the dinosaur is because he's going to rest with the dinosaur. So I was thinking about that. I'm going to add a little pink flower down there. This flower is a little bit more peachy, and there's a little here be kind of between the two. But you know what? If you go outside and you look at all the flowers growing, I do believe that there's a combination of various colors. So I don't, I'm not real particular with that because to me it all goes. So down on the bottom, she's resting. <clears throat> And then she's going to go on a four by four inch box that I've already got covered with glitter. I alternated pink, gold <clears throat> on these. So I'm going to put her on the one that's got the gold top. And there she is. Now what I'm doing for these is I am in the process of um, working on little signs. The little girl's name, I believe, <clears throat> is Lee, L-E-I-G-H. So the name, the salutation or the name that I'm going to be putting on these is says um, Heaven Lee, but Heaven Lee, L-E-I-G-H, which I think is so cute. Um, I haven't cut those out yet. I got to get the centerpieces done and, and I can't cut them out because I don't have any room in here. I wanted to do the small ones first. What did I do? Okay, these are the big ones, I think. I, I had everything organized. And so at the end, you're going to see pictures of, I showed all of that stuff that you saw. In five minutes, I had it all put away wherever it was going to go. And then I went and grabbed the basket with all the flowers in it. And you had to pull them all out because there was something stuck in there. Kind of threw me off, threw me off for a loop. Okay, this is for the bigger one. We've got the beautiful little guy here. And I'm going to be doing the up in here. Now, I want to do a white flower here. And I got the perfect one, perfect match. And I'm going to cut a little greenery off on this. But I got the perfect white flower and now I want some little white flowers. See, when you go out and do these the, these kinds of hauls and and, and um, getting everything like this on sale for so cheap, um, it's just so worth it. It just makes it makes it so much easier for me to get. Well, I shouldn't say easier for me to get things done because I'm not progressing forwards <laughs> very quickly. I think I might be going a little bit backwards. This has a little greenery under it, but down a bit. And I don't want it down. I want it up by the flower. So I just pushed it up. And it's got a wire in there that I am going to bend over. I want it flat. And then I'm going to, oops, let me put this one on here first. I didn't realize I didn't. I absolutely love these water color um, safari. Oh, I love them. And it's just really fun to do, to work with them. Okay, we've got one there and then we're going to put, this has got green on it there. I'm going to put one on that side. And... Whoops. This one is an, off, uh, an ivory color as well. However, the tips can have a, uh, a little brush of a brush in, on the tips of uh, pink. Okay, and push that down now more. All righty, and we're going to do one more over here. So, again, I'm going to bring the green leaves up and 
trim the back off and curl the wire over so I can get it as flat as possible. Probably should turn it lower, over and lower. There we go. And then that one's going to go over here. There we go. And these are going to be on the six by six by six boxes. There's these are the 18 inches. When you and I probably started to tell this, and I don't believe I finished it. I'm sure I didn't finish it. These are the 18 inches tall. When you add the six inch box, this is two feet tall. Um, what I was saying is that pe people are winning out here because I'm, I can't get those boxes anymore, <clears throat> the wood bases anymore. I'm using the boxes and and these pieces, these 18 inch pieces are, are the <clears throat> other pieces, 15 inch pieces are going on a four inch box. So you'll actually get ends up to be a 19 inch piece. So uh, guys, I can't sliding off my chair. I need a new chair and I had picked one out but I'm afraid to ask my husband. He went and picked this one out for me. But it's junk. I don't want to say that word. Hear me. But it's not. It's it's. It was good for a week. Um, but the arms and everything when I back up on my desk I really actually need to find I found one at, at um, I think it was Office Depot or Staples, probably Staples, not, yeah, probably Staples. I saw it on an ad, but it's more like a mesh, the chair itself, and it looks like it would be so nice. But my husband's gonna say, I just bought you a chair, and I don't want to say to him, Yes, but you bought me a crappy chair because it's not very good, and it's tearing up anytime it, time it touches something, it tears up the vinyl. The non-leather material. Now, I think I'm going to use some of these. Oh, I can't on this one. Forget that noise. I have to use what I used here. Okay. Come on, stay put. <clears throat> and didn't like it, and I want it down a little bit. I don't want it curled up so much. Mm. These all have glossy glossy accents in the eyes and in the little pads of the feet and then the rest is all glittered and it doesn't like sticking there for some reason I'm gonna try one more time and find out why it won't stick for me um what was I gonna say I was talking about oh yeah all of them are glittered glosses in all of the eyes on all of the pieces and Glittered everywhere. I kind of lightened up around the, the crown that I put on them because <clears throat> I was putting flowers on them. But I did not know what flowers I was going to be using. So I did all that, that work for nothing because I'm not using. You know what I'm going to do here, guys? I don't need these. But here's... Here's what I am going to do with these. I am going to keep them because there's been many a time that I would have loved to had a wire, a uh, covered wire for whatever. And whatever reason, I have no idea, but I know I wanted one, so I'm not going to throw those out. Now, here, we're going to put this one over here. And in we go. And then we're going to take one more. And again, what I'm doing is all I can on that one. That one isn't doesn't have it. This one does. Oh, I pushed it too far, guys. And now it came off. That's okay. Because I'll just push it back on. And when I glue it down, it will happily stay. I hope. No, it will. It will. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little extra glue pile there. And I'm going to stick this one on here first. And then I'm going to stick this one in there. 
I pulled it too far when I was pulling it off the wire, so the leaf came off the flower. Not a big deal. I've had worse things happen when I'm trying to make something. This isn't one to have them, thankfully. But now i got to wait for that to cool so I know it's going to stay put. Hot glue, my best friend. Um, I have, I was thinking, because I was, the pictures I took, I was just trying to show how I, how I store when I come in with things like that and how I put it away. So I was taking pictures and took over, took over by my um, glitter and realized, <laughs> realized now that I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that my power strip shows when I went around my room and my power strip, <laughs> My power strip is hot glued to my wall. My my son-in-law just dies laughing because he said he's the only person I know. I'd hot glue my teeth in if I could. I shouldn't say hot to do my own fillings with hot glue. That would have been it or whatever. Because I am a freak with hot glue. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to put the six by six by six box because these are the bigger images. I do, but wait. Yeah, but it's definitely bigger. And there we go. And here we go. I've said this on videos again and again and again. You should try and put these on before you shut the lid. Because you can um, kind of spin them and twist them on a little easier. Oh, I totally forgot his grass. I got it do his grass. Okay, let's do it the right way. There we go. I forgot to put the grass on him. Well, do I want the grass on him? I don't know. I'll have to have it. However, it does look really cute. Let me put the grass on him. I am going to go for it. How do you like that? And guys, I have five, six, seven, eight of these to do. So, if I could get your opinion on whether you wanted me to continue filming or not, but I can't, because I can't ask anybody. I don't know. I'm going to put it over here by his foot. There we go. And here we go. And we'll dot more. And there. Now, ouch, ouch. On this one, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to use a little of the yellow moss because it matches him. So I will use a little yellow. It doesn't match him, it just flows nicely. So I need a flower down here, guys. And let me see what I'm going to go with for a flower. Oh, I got my to the other side. Now I'll look for two flowers. All right. And I tell you what, when I went out, I think I mentioned this already. When you go, like, when I go out, I really have a hard time with this face mask stuff because I can't see. And I told the lady when I was checking out my three cart fulls, that I can't tell if they're giving me the stink eye. We were laughing because I can't, I don't know what a person's expression is. Um, and actually I was pretty fortunate that she laughed out loud because then I knew she was laughing and wasn't thinking, why in the hell did I get this woman to check out at my, check my station? But she wasn't, she was having a good time. But I know somebody had said they really like to hear stories and I don't know if I told you on this one. I don't remember which one I was talking about, but I picked up and put the cream cheese all over my my dowel rod peg and took a bite because I was eating skinny breadsticks. Um, and I, I was laughing because I thought it was hilarious. But what is even more hilarious is I did it again. I did it when I was all through... With, and I had only, no, I was all through with something that, and I had that stick sitting out and sure enough, I stuck it in the cream cheese and bit into it. So twice, I think that's um, 
pretty silly. You'd have thought I learned the first time, but oh, I want this color. There's a little bit of a teal in the leaves there. So what I'm gonna use for that flower is I'm gonna grab a teal one or teal blue, kind of like that, to put in the moss. And the, the things don't have to match. Again, you look outside and I remember my aunt one time was talking about how she was kind of a kind of uppity, love her to death, but she was kind of came from a very wealthy back, background, so she had some opinions and used to crack me up. But she was the one that said to me, when you furnish your house, because in her bedroom, nothing, like the, the bed, the dresser, anything, nothing matched. It was all different pieces and everything. And she said that that it is so vogue you, that you don't match stuff. You don't buy your furniture and your and whatever decorations for your room. They shouldn't match. And I always thought that was hilarious. I always thought she would come to my house and see that nothing matched or everything matched. My bedroom set, everything matches in every room. It's every color, but it all, she would have. No, part of it, no, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I'll shut up and I'll get this one finished. So we'll move on to the next one. I guess I don't really need to put them on the boxes for you to see, do I? Because I'm going to put them on the boxes when I take my pictures. But, and then, like I said, I'm cutting out the little clouds. So they're going to be, they're going to be little cloud signs. Yeah, okay, I, I'm not going to subject you that, well, this yes, I am. I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting these together. I just won't do the, I just won't worry about putting them on the box. Let's see how these flowers, these, these paper ones work. Oh, I love them though. They're really, really cool. And they're really, really stiff. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that smashed enough, guys. Maybe that's why they were in clearance. This thing that they stick on, it doesn't... Well, I can put some greenery under it. How can I... How? This is just really, really hard to bend. Oh, I like this color, too. Come on, work it. Let me get this so it will lay out. Because I really like these. They're really neat. The, the texture and everything, man, I really like them. They're almost like a real stiff gray paper. Oh, I did it. I just got them all to go the other way. I did it. So, I can use that one on him. And a lot of glue. So that I can get well. The, these petals will touch a little bit of the glue that I put on it. So, we're going to do that. And there's a little white. No, nope, pink. There's not a pink. Let's do this one. This pink one. Let's put right here. And then we're going to put some greenery on it. Okay, and I'm going to use... Mm, I don't want the green one from. I'm going to use the green from. Okay. This one. I'm going to use this. I had a bag of it here. Anybody see it? I had a whole bag of that. All ready to go. Right here, so right in front of me. Right in front of me is sitting a bunch. I'm going to cut this off. A little too much. And did I glue that down? I did. I did. Okay. And Kelly and Samantha um, make mention again in my scrapbooking. It is so on the back burners right now. And I know that there's a lot of you that just love the scrapbooking because you're not into doing this, you're into doing scrapbooks. But I am swamped. I don't. There's not enough hours in the day for me, and I just do not have time to scrapbook now. I'll be scrapbooking when I hit the nursing home. And you know what I'm gonna do here? This has got a little thing of um, 
I don't know what it is. Oh, let me do this side first. But I think I'm going to do this one in blink. And if I can get this one stretched out, I'm going to use this pink on the other side. Since you can't see both sides at the same time, it doesn't matter if they're a different color. They figured out how to get them open. You have to pull them back. Again, they're like a cray paper, or they are cray paper. I'm just pulling all the petals back. So it almost turns it inside out. And then I get it. And it's, there we go. Uh-oh, something happened. Low battery. I gotta stop. It says low battery, but it looks like you might still be running. 